Well, let's get busy making mm -hmm, this you bet. because we need to begin with the fennel seed. Is that right? Right. right. And what we've done is we put this in a skillet. So walk us through what's going to happen. So we turn the heat up, and we're going to toast it and make a little bit of caramel with some sugar. But just a little just bit of sugar. Just a little there. bit of sugar. So you let it heat up, and by the time it heats up, the sugar will melt, and we can stir it together. Right. And let the sugar melt onto the, the, the fennel. And as the fennel toasts and the sugar melts, it gets all coated and it gets mm. caramelized. I can already begin to smell the fennel now that mm -hmm. it's heating up. Once the white starts to disappear, then you know that, they're, that it's melting. There it is. See? Oh, perfect. You well, see that it? happened quickly. Look really at that. Really fast. All right. So then chef. we'll turn it off and scrape it into, watch your hands. Certainly. Don't want you to burn. Scrape it in. Can you smell it? I can totally it smell it. Smells it smells so wonderful. Good. It's sweet, it's savory. Mm -hmm. Now, the other easy part about your mm -hmm. recipe is that we melt the chocolate. Correct. That beautiful dark chocolate in the microwave. Mm -hmm. But you you recommend doing this in what you call bursts. That's correct. Tell us about that. Right, right, because if you it will take about two minutes to melt chocolate in the microwave, about, depending on your microwave. But if you did it all for two minutes, all at once, you right. could run the risk of, of burning your chocolate and what's called seizing. Right, and that's when it seizes up and right. becomes thick. Right. Okay, so let's pop this in, and how many uh, how many seconds would you suggest? I would say give it another 30 seconds 30 first. seconds, okay. Sure. We'll just pop in 30 seconds. There you go. And there we are. We've now burst this twice with right. two. Look at that one now. I think probably maybe one more burst or nope. no? Oh, no. You, would, you, would, you would I would let it sit and then and then stir it because look, this little bit is melting, melting into the rest. Right. So with a with a silicone spatula. Right. Give this just, just a little. Let it sit. That smells incredible. So you can always do this on top of the stove and with the double. I boiler. always thought the double boiler yeah. was the only way, but carefully down in the microwave, you get the same mm -hmm. result. Yes, and you don't. See, there's a little tricky thing if you do it on top of the stove with the double boiler. Right. If the steam comes up over the side and condenses into the chocolate, mm -hmm. the water will will um, make the chocolate seize. And then so there's nothing you could do with right. it. You can't salvage it, you can't save it. So once we are to this to this right. um, this uh, consistency. Correct. We want to get busy with uh, dipping the crisp bread, is that right? Right, but you know what, if we, you know, you wanna make sure that the chocolate gets cooled down to oh, about 90 degrees. Okay, okay. And an instant read thermometer is great. So this is about 90 degrees because it hasn't been, it's been out for a little while. So what we do now is to dip the chocolate okay. and dip it in. Oh, I'm all going the way in. All okay. the way in. You want to get gotcha, all gotcha. the chocolatey goodness. Well, if we're doing this, I'll bring this back over okay, that's closer great. to you. Here we are. Dip it in. Cover him. Cover it. And you're using an offset spatula uh -huh. for that. Right. Which allows you to get under it a little more easily. Right. I, my hands are going to get a little bit dirty, but that's you know okay. what? There's nothing you can do about it. So you take it and you scrape off a little bit of it and you get a nice thin coating. Now you know what you could do? You could do the honors of decorating it with... I would love to. With a little sea salt, a little fennel. A little of, of all of this stuff. Okay, so Break a it up bit. a little bit because you know what? All the, the sugar, sugar has and... caused it to clump together a bit. Exactly. So we'll just go in here and watch what we do here. We just go in and give it a little crunch. And that way all the pieces separate. Right. Because you don't want big clumps of fennel. You right. want them evenly distributed. Okay, great. And while it's still melted, do a little sprinkle. Just a little bit on mm -hmm. top here, all over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, a little sea salt. A little sea salt. And, you know, it's such a great combination of salt and, and mm. chocolate. Salty sweet. Mm hmm. Well, in yeah. this case, salty semi sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and then and a little then, bit of the ginger. And then just kind of evenly mm -hmm. space this. Yeah. Ginger is one of my favorites. I just love it. It's got such a nice zing it to sure it. It sure does, and it's peppery and sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, All at the same delicious. time. And then just keep doing this. But right. the best part is, we've it's got crazy. some that were cool <gasps> from earlier. I know. And it's... Chef, may I offer one to you first? Oh, thank you. There we are. You know, for 117 calories of heart-healthy yumminess, this is a great indulgence. So one whole piece mm -hmm. here is only 117 That's calories. That's right. That's perfect. All right, well, here's to your health, my Here's friend. to you. <laughs>